Mosquito-borne diseases collectively contribute to a significant global burden of illness and death. Malaria, primarily transmitted by Anopheles mosquitoes, is one of the most deadly. According to the World Health Organization, OVO, malaria caused an estimated 229 million cases and 409,000 deaths globally in 2019. The majority of malaria deaths occur in sub-Saharan Africa, with children under five years of age being the most vulnerable demographic. In addition to malaria, other mosquito-borne diseases also pose significant threats to human health. Dengue fever, transmitted by AIDS mosquitoes, affects millions of people each year, with severe cases leading to dengue hemorrhagic fever, which can be fatal. According to the WHO, an estimated 390 million dengue infections occur annually, resulting in around 20,000 deaths. Zika virus, another disease spread by AIDS mosquitoes, gained international attention due to its association with birth defects, such as microcephaly. While Zika typically causes mild symptoms, its potential to cause severe neurological complications in newborns underscores its importance as a public health concern. Yellow fever, transmitted primarily by AIDS and Hamagovis mosquitoes, remains a significant threat in parts of Africa and South America. The disease can cause severe illness, including jaundice, organ failure, and death. The WHO estimates that yellow fever causes 200,000 cases and 30,000 deaths annually. These statistics collectively highlight the devastating impact of mosquito-borne diseases on human populations worldwide. While exact figures may vary from year to year and region to region, the overall toll underscores the urgent need for comprehensive efforts to control mosquito populations, prevent transmission of these diseases, and develop effective treatments and vaccines. How to Prevent Mosquito Bites Preventing mosquito bites is essential for reducing the risk of mosquito-borne diseases. Here are several effective strategies to protect yourself. Use mosquito repellent. Apply insect repellent containing DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus to exposed skin, following the product instructions carefully. Reapply repellent as needed, especially if you're sweating or swimming. Wear protective clothing. Wear long sleeves, pants, and socks when outdoors, particularly during dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are most active. Choose light-colored clothing, as mosquitoes are attracted to dark colors. Use mosquito nets. Sleep under a mosquito net, especially if you're in an area where mosquito-borne diseases are prevalent. Ensure the netting is properly installed and tucked under the mattress to prevent mosquitoes from entering. Stay indoors during peak mosquito activity. Mosquitoes are most active during dawn and dusk, so try to stay indoors during these times if possible. Use air conditioning or screens on windows and doors to keep mosquitoes out. Eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes breed in stagnant water, so regularly empty and clean containers that collect water around your home such as flower pots, bird baths, and gutters. Cover or properly dispose of items that can hold water, such as tires and buckets. Use mosquito repellent candles or coils. Burning citronella candles or using mosquito coils can help repel mosquitoes from outdoor areas. Place them strategically around your outdoor space, especially during gatherings or activities. Install screens. Install screens on windows and doors to prevent mosquitoes from entering your home. Repair any tears or holes in existing screens to ensure they're effective at keeping mosquitoes out. Avoid areas with high mosquito activity. If possible, avoid spending time in areas where mosquitoes are known to be particularly abundant, such as near stagnant water bodies or dense vegetation. Use mosquito traps. Consider using mosquito traps or electric mosquito zappers to reduce mosquito populations around your home. These devices can help capture and kill mosquitoes before they have a chance to bite. Consult a healthcare provider. If you're traveling to areas where mosquito-borne diseases are prevalent, consider consulting a healthcare provider or travel clinic for advice on vaccinations and preventive measures specific to your destination. 
By incorporating these preventive measures into your daily routine, you can reduce your risk of mosquito bites and the potential transmission of mosquito-borne diseases. What should you do if bitten mosquito? If you've been bitten by a mosquito, here are steps you can take to alleviate discomfort and reduce the risk of complications. Wash the area. Clean the bitten area with soap and water to reduce the risk of infection. Avoid scratching the bite, as this can lead to further irritation and potential infection. Apply a cold compress. Place a cold compress or ice pack wrapped in a cloth on the bitten area to reduce swelling and soothe itching. Apply for 10 to 15 minutes at a time, several times a day as needed. Use over-the-counter anti-itch creams. Apply calamine lotion, hydrocortisone cream, or aloe vera gel to the affected area to relieve itching and inflammation. Follow the product instructions carefully. Take oral antihistamines. If itching is severe, you may consider taking an oral antihistamine, such as diconhydramine, Benadryl, or loratadine, Claritin, to reduce itching and swelling. Consult a healthcare provider or pharmacist for appropriate dosage and recommendations. Avoid scratching. Although it may be tempting, avoid scratching mosquito bites, as this can lead to further irritation inflammation, and potential infection. Keep the affected area clean and dry to promote healing. Use natural remedies. Some people find relief from mosquito bites using natural remedies, such as applying a paste made from baking soda and water, rubbing a slice of cucumber or banana peel on the bite, or using essential oils such as lavender or tea tree oil, diluted with a carrier oil, for their anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. Seek medical attention if necessary. In rare cases, mosquito bites can lead to allergic reactions or secondary infections. Seek medical attention if you experience severe swelling, difficulty breathing, dizziness, nausea, or signs of infection such as increased redness, warmth, or plus at the bite site. Prevent further bites. Take preventive measures to avoid further mosquito bites, such as using insect repellent, wearing protective clothing, and using mosquito nets or screens when sleeping or staying indoors. By following these steps, you can effectively manage mosquito bites and minimize discomfort while reducing the risk of complications. If you have concerns or experience severe symptoms, don't hesitate to consult a healthcare provider for further evaluation and treatment. In conclusion, while mosquito bites are often considered a nuisance, they can pose significant health risks due to the potential transmission of mosquito-borne diseases. Taking proactive steps to prevent mosquito bites, such as using insect repellent, wearing protective clothing, and eliminating standing water around your home, is essential for reducing the risk of illness and discomfort. If you do get bitten, promptly cleaning the affected area, applying cold compresses, and using anti itch creams can help alleviate symptoms and promote healing. It's also crucial to monitor for signs of allergic reactions or infection and seek medical attention if necessary. By staying vigilant and implementing preventive measures, we can effectively protect ourselves from mosquito bites and the diseases they carry, ensuring our health and well-being. Like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest content. Whether it's helpful tips, informative articles, or engaging discussions, there's always something new to discover. Your support keeps the conversation going and helps us grow our community. So hit those buttons, spread the word, and join us on this journey of learning and exploration. Together, we can make a positive impact and inspire others along the way. Thank you for being part of our community.